Hi, and welcome back to Avenza's Mapping Class video series. In this tutorial, I will teach you how to crop features in Map Publisher. I've already started with a new Illustrator document, and I've imported the Toronto Streets Joined MIF file, as well as the FSA Toronto MIF file from the Tutorial Data folder. I've also stylized my data so I can effectively differentiate between the two layers. You can pause the video here if you wish to do that before moving forward. Next, I want to go into the Map View panel, and I'm going to double-click the Map View. This brings up the Map View Editor, and I want to perform a coordinate system transformation, so I'm going to click that box right here. And I'm going to click this link so I can open the selector. I'd like to project mine into a UTM zone, which is 17 for Toronto. So I can go to Projected, UTM, and I want to find NAT83 and I can find zone 17N right here. All right, so now I want to select all of the data on both layers. So I can do that by clicking this little circle right here in the Layers panel, and then I can Shift-click the next one to select that layer as well. Then I want to go to my Map Attributes panel, and I'm going to examine the FSA Toronto Area layer. I just want to take a look at the table structure and the map attribute records of this layer so I can remember what they look like to make sure that they copy properly when I crop my features. So I can see here that I have the FID column, which is the feature ID. I have the ID of the FSA area, and I also have the length and the area of each shape. I can now deselect my data and close the map attributes panel. Next, I'm going to click the Map Vector Rectangle Crop Tool from the main Adobe Illustrator Tools panel. You can notice that the mouse has changed to a crosshair, and I can click once near the center of the map, and that opens the Map Vector Crop dialog box. In the Dimensions section, I'd like to enter meters, which I already have selected, so I'm going to choose a width of 2,000 meters and a height of 4,200. In the target section, I'm going to choose only and select the FSA Toronto area. This makes sure that only that layer is included in the crop. So I can move the dialog box out of the way to see a preview of how the crop will appear once it happens. This gives me an idea of what data will be cropped. And as you can see here, it should only target the FSA Toronto layer and the streets will remain untouched. So I can click OK. And there we go. The FSA Toronto layer is cropped to the extents I specified, and the streets were untouched because they were not included as the target. Back in the Illustrator toolbar, I now want to change the Map Vector Crop tool to an ellipse, which I can do by clicking and pressing on here and selecting it. On the artboard, I am now going to click and drag an ellipse to draw a crop extent. I can make my ellipse a perfect circle by holding down the Shift key while I am drawing it. So I can see here that it creates any shape. And then now it'll only create it like that once I select that. So I release the button and the crop is automatically performed on both layers. Now I want to go back to the map attributes panel. Just want to select my FSA Toronto area. And here I can make sure that my attribute fields and values have been maintained with the crop. I can see here that there are fewer features because of the crop, but the values remain the same as before. Also take note here that the area values have not been adjusted for the cropped area features. So I would need to correct this myself. And with that, it seems that we are done. I hope you found this tutorial about cropping map features helpful, and I'll see you in the next one.